Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draught. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. More treats! Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you really? Gauntero Dick, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. That'd be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgierd. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand. 
because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. But this applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? Old witcher's trick. I concentrate real, real hard, and I can control time and space. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Cat oh, Scoundrel. The devil. He, he was there, alive, a moment ago. Blind drunk he was. Maybe he fainted. Witcher in the ass. No wonder folk could drop him. Curse the next. <laughs> Nothing hurts as much as look. Damn it, that's the way again. Greetings again. Show me where you are. So long. Not a step closer. In? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? 
Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgierd von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgierd asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Verdanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me, you know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend, get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? To Radovid, there's little difference between the two. Seems to tolerate you well enough. Because he needs me. For now. So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Halt! By order of King Radovid. No one's allowed inside the Academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know. But I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in.
you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. Where'd you get the rope? <sighs> Long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you.
silver lamen. Don't know the sigil. It's been used in ages, looks like. Franco? Is that you? Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shall be eating today. Professor Shakeslock? Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out! I know nothing! Don't wish to know anything! Understand? No, no, no! Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance! Hm. Please, you know. Gaunter Old Dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. Hm. A mutant. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I'm one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims, and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts, which drive their parties to madness. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but he saw me clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odin is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. Olgierd signed one of these pacts with him? Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know his fortune soured? 
He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgerd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgerd and Odim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgerd was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgerd loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgerd chose and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. So did Olgerd kill his own brother? No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgerd merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Olgerd tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Why was Old Geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odim at his own game. Meaning? Odim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Sole thing he truly desires, human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. <laughs> Yeah. Okay.